Hey guys, so I recorded an unboxing of my latest glossy box, which is the February one, and I it was really rushed, and I kind of wanted to try something out with the last month's one to incorporate it into this month's. So I thought for my glossy box video, I would spend the first half of the video kind of reviewing, briefly reviewing the products from the previous month, and the second half unboxing the box from this month, if that makes sense. I never got around to taking pictures, and I'm really bad at blogging in general, so I have a feeling that I won't keep that up, so I think it's easier to just talk about it in videos. So I'm just gonna go through last month's products and do quick reviews of each one. First is the Ico Skinny Eyeliner in the color... I don't know what color this is, actually. It's the purple one. I really like this. It doesn't have the greatest staying power, but it's a really, really nice color. It looks good with um, my red hair and blue eyes, because purple just looks good on everyone, I think. There's something about the color purple that brings out every color of eye. This is really nice. I, I don't- the original price is $9.50 per pencil. I'm not sure I would pay that, but I do quite like it. If you're on the market for an eyeliner, this might be for you. Next is the Orly Nail Polish in the color Ruby. And I like this. I really like Orly Nail Polishes. It is exactly like the color you see here. And yeah, it, it actually has a really good, it doesn't peel off or chip off as much as, you know, something like Barry M, which I personally have a lot of issues with. And they're good nail polishes. I recommend these, definitely. I wish it was um, a different color because, as you guys know, I'm getting into spring too quick and this is kind of a dark shade for now, but it's still nice. Next is the Waletta Toner Cleanser product, which um, I used, I, I think I've used about half of it actually, and I started using this at the same time as another new cleanser, and one of them broke me out, so I stopped using this, um, because I wasn't sure if it was this or the other product, and I've kind of been afraid to try either again, because I don't want to break out again. This has an incredibly strong smell. It is very, very citrusy, a little overpowering, actually, to put on your face. The smell kind of dissipates as after you kind of put it on, but still, it's, yeah, it's very overwhelming. If you're sensitive to smells, don't recommend this. I just don't feel like toners do a lot for me. I have, I don't do much to my skin. You guys have been asking for a skincare video. I don't do much to my skin. I just kind of wash off makeup and use a moisturizer. Not a huge fan, um, unfortunately. Next was this Mirad Skin Primer, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you the reason why I was not a fan of this. Do you guys see that? You guys, yeah. Yeah, this is... Not a good color for me. <laughs> I did use it once. Um, I managed to spend ages blending it out to try and get it to something that didn't turn me orange, like you're seeing here. But um, it was a good primer. The primer is good. The product is good. It's just not for me because I'm very, very pale, unfortunately. Actually, not that unfortunately. I don't mind being pale. And lastly is the Fab Body Wash, and this was great. Um, I never buy myself fancy body washes, so when I get them in things like this, it's kind of nice. It's a little... It's like a little gift to myself. It smells nice. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, it's just a body wash, but it was really kind of soft and lotion-y, I think. Now onto this month's glossy box. As I told you guys, I had already opened the box and I've already used it. Actually, I like to put them in my drawers and store things in the actual physical box, but it is a nice dusty, rosy pink color. And I think that's the color that all the boxes are. I just, as I said before, I had two special edition ones in a row. So yeah, I think it's kind of this color is how generally the color of the box goes. First is the Duop Venom Glass, and it is in the color Buttercup. It is a lovely nude lip gloss, and um, it's a venom gloss, so I have a feeling it does that kind of lip plumping thing that a lot of lip products tend to do. Lip plumping, that's what this is right here. And I'll redo the thing it says here on the little card. It says, combining subtle, subtle tinted lip gloss with Duop's Lip Venom to create lip gloss venom. That was... I could have said that, couldn't I? Um, the full size of this is 16 pounds, which is pretty steep for a lip gloss, I must say, but it's a nice little sample, and I think I will use that because I don't generally like lip gloss too much, but this is a nice color, and I like the tingly feeling of lip venom. I, had, I used to have one years ago, and I like the feeling. Quick review, I like it. Next are these Impress uh, Press-On Nails. Impress by Broadway Nails is the revolutionary way to apply polish. Simply peel off, press on, and done. Now, I'm not sure if I'll really be into these. First of all, they're dark colors again. Glossy box, don't you know? I'm obsessed with summer already. Um, they're, yeah, I don't know how I feel about press-on nails. I've never really done it before, but I just, I don't like the feeling. You know when you take things off your nails and it leaves that residue? I have a feeling it would do that. I don't know, maybe I'll try this. Perhaps. I'll see. Next is the thing I'm most excited for, and it is, uh, gosh, I cannot pronounce it. It's Awapi? Awapu? Awapui? 
by Paul Mitchell. Oh my god, I'm embarrassing myself right now. And it is a wild ginger treatment oil for your hair, and it's a pretty big sample. Like, here's the size of my face. It's about that size. Smooth and seal parched hair with natural oils and the hydrating awapue extract absorbs easily imparting a soft silky texture and a rich shine effect. I have really dry ends to my hair no matter how much I cut them or how frequently. I, um, yeah, I just have really dry hair generally. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. Next is this BM Beauty mineralized eyeshadow thing in the color Dusty Rose. And it's a nice like goldy color, I think. Award-winning pure mineral eyeshadow, cruelty-free and suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So that's nice. This looks like a nice color. I have a little experience with mineralized eyeshadows, not too much, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know. And lastly is another shower gel. They really like shower gels in Glossy Box, apparently. Um, which is fine, I guess. I mean, I don't really buy shower gel for myself that's not, you know, the cheapest thing at the store. Como Shambhala Invigorate Shower Gel. A revitalizing blend of essential oils that puts you in the perfectly uplifted mood. So that'll be nice. I can just wash myself and be all uplifted. Ooh, ooh, strong smell. Strong smell. This has eucalyptus, geranium, lavender, and peppermint. That's a lot of strong smells in one. And that is all for this month. Let me know if this is too long, if you'd like separate videos for the reviews in this. I mean, I'm, I'm not really great at reviewing products, and especially with just little samples of things that I, you know, I've used, but I, I don't have too much to say on them. Let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.